Hey everyone, welcome back for more EXO Series content. In today's video, we're going to discuss a hero guide for FC Shell. So we're going to put out something good for you guys so that you might have a guide on how to build her. But before that, if you want to see more EXO Series content, please hit the subscribe button down below. So our long wait has finally arrived. So we have here Enchanter Shell. So she just dropped yesterday. Um, I think, yeah, yeah, yesterday. So she actually hails from Historic Republic and she is human. So she's grown up already. Um, her human years is at 26 years old. And position is support, attack type is magical, and her element is machine. So she's the leader of Phantasmagoria, an eccentric mercenary arts company. So as for Shell stats, uh, her strengths are she has high HP and she has above average attack speed. She has average dodge and she has average hit. As for her weakness, she has below average attack, low defense, below average crit hit, and below average block. So here we are at her skills and her skill preview. So let's start first with her passive. And I'm a bit happy with what, what, what uh, Lion Games is doing. The scroll problem that we had before with, with, with the text um, is now gone. Um, you can actually hold long hold a a a skill or a passive then the, the the text holds there and then you can just skill as uh, uh, scroll up and down so very good land games for this improvement anyway with her passive she has cleanse three so damage over time and debuff effects from an ally gains one mana gains mana additionally if health of the target is 20 percent or less when triggered and also when Health of target is 70% or more when triggered. Okay, the new addition to her passive, first and foremost, is called Dimension Leap. So it's a mark, increases dodge for self by 40% and attack by 1000 when attacked. All Dimension Leap mark on self are removed after a successful dodge stacks up to four times. So the build for sh for Shell would be to increase her su survivability by giving her, well, more HP and hopefully, hopefully, uh, what do you call this? Uh, uh, the red red uh, set, so that she can reduce damage as well. And later, I'll I'll, I'll point out an another benefit if you increase her HP. So for second passive, this is actually one of the most impressive passives that I've seen. So increase critical hit, critical hit of all allies by 100%. So um, I don't know what what what's what's better than this skill, but this packs a punch for a support character. Um, next is her passive, her third passive. So it's also a mark. So afflicts a, afflicts a charmed enemy with puppet show mark. So you need Janai for this. You need to make sure that Janai has enough attack, attack stat so that she can apply charm to the enemy over, over the other side. So debuff, if an enemy marked with Puppet Show dies, reduces block of all enemies by 25% up to 4 times. So every time an attacker dies, each, each enemy on the other side gets a 25% reduction on block so this is good for this is good for uh, what they call this killing squishy um, squishy heroes then if they have they have um, defenders and blockers they too will be squishier because of this one so very impressive passive for FC shell with her fate core okay we now go to her S1. So for her S1, it's called Last Chapter. So required mana is 2. Deals 127% damage to all enemies. Decreases attack of all enemies afflicted by charm. Again, you need Janai for this one. And it decreases the attack by 50% when the attack hits. Okay. I actually was a victim of this earlier. I was able to play... 
Um, I think that was um, Battle. And I was a victim of this one. I, I encountered a shell on the other side with me. I, I, I didn't bring shell during that time. And this is actually very, very annoying because it decreases your attack and also if you could look look down below there's a special it also removes your barrier so similar similar skill to iris and removing barriers um aside from that she also gives reduced hit by 30 for four turns by giving them hallucinate if they are charmed so again the key here is how you pair her with Jinai. Um, you can still bring her without Jinai, but you get the maximum 100% capacity of what she's capable of if Jinai is in the team. So again, she's pretty much annoying. She's she's fast. She has the same speed as she has the same speed as what do you call this as Iris uh, at 74. So you could really replace Iris with her in your lineup. Okay, more on that later. Let's move on to her S2 skill. So for her S2, it's called Curtain Call. Its required mana is 2, so increase attack of one ally except the caster by 35% of own attack for 7 turns. Removes all status effects from the target. Target gains 3 mana. Grants status effect immunity one time to the target and resets the target's turn. Okay, so this also is a headache because because not only that you give three mana to one character, that um, hero also gets another turn, resets the turn, and that um, that hero also gets an increase in attack. So again, another headache uh, for the opponent or the opposing team. So Shell is for me right now the top support hero in the game hands down um might have overtaken fc iris but fc iris has her appeal as well she gives two mana to all unlike unlike shell she gives only three mana to one so it depends again on 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 the play style that you have for your team okay let us get a preview of what her skill looks like so that this is her basic attack so the the puppets also grown they've grown already so let's see her s1 very nice as usual for for the exos team for the animations the design the artwork um turning turning their their the kids into adults was a brilliant idea and it shows that it's a good move so last her s2 so for her s2 again um the usual my usual sentiment is normally the these um skills or animations take too long so that's my only concern but apart from that the the, the quality the artwork the video itself and the puppets are already are also grown up together with shell <laughs> okay so anyway let's move on but before that guys please do help my channel and support by subscribing so you can see a subscribe button down there please click on that to get more and updated exosphere's content so we are here now in uh, FC Shell's playability. So FC Shell is actually very playable in main and tag v PvP. So we do, do have to create more testing for this. I'm going to try to create or discuss later a team that I'm trying to, you know, trying to experiment on. I'll discuss it. I'll discuss more on it later. Um, as for PvE, she will be good in your chapters battle for your air squadron you pierce lab because of her utility and also she'll be good in the core raid so as for shells recommended guardian stones i'm actually complete with the with the fire set effect i transferred some from from what you call this from valentina so if you try to awaken her or equip her 
I would recommend only two sets. First and foremost is your fire set. If on a weekend or 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 pre awaken, um, there's a total damage reduction. But when you awaken her, it's a maximum of plus five thousand um, HP. Also, another another option if you want to go this route, uh, if you want to increase her hit, you could go to through the machine set effect. If you want to awaken her with with the machine set effect, you get plus three thousand HP and plus twelve hit. So let's check out her unleash potential. If you want to, to unleash potential shell, you have to look here in the skills. There will be an increase of certain skills in her unleash potential. So you can check it out here and also here. So I'm looking for, yeah, this is the one. So deals additional 8% uh, of own maximum health damage when the attack hits. So that is why I'm also encouraging that you 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 use a machine set or fire set to incre increase her HP. So her third one is this one. So if you click click her clan, so overtime effect reduces damage against all allies by thirty percent. Can't be stacked. So she adds another overtime effect once you complete her unleash potential. At least for for this one, this tree. So try to complete this this one and this one um, to increase um, additional skills for her. Okay, so synergy with, with other heroes. So Shell is actually, again, um, dependent on Janai for one one passive skill and one and in her S1. So S1 in her pop, passive puppet show. Heroes that increase HP also benefit Shell. Um, you can actually use her um, as replacement as well for Iris in your teams, especially in PvP. She can actually also be paired with high damage heroes, whether it be a single target or AoE hero. I'm planning to pair her up with Andy because of her S2. And she can be used in any lineup, preferably with Janai, to maximize her, you know, her, her capabilities. But without Junai, you're roughly using just, I think, 70 to 80% of her capabilities. Let's take a look at the team that I'm going to bring um, and experiment on in, in PvP. So you have Junai, you have Deva, you have Garf. At the back, you have Annie and you have Shell there. So I'm going to try try this with PvP as soon as, PvC, uh, as, on, as, soon as PvP is up. So for my overall rating, one being the lowest and five being the highest. Okay, so for her stats, I would give Shell a four because um, her stats are, she has four high and average stats and uh, four low as well. But her high and average stats are what she needs uh, for her kit. So I'm giving her a four. For playability and content, I will also give her a 4 because she is almost playable in any content. But for synergy, I would give her a 5 because she, I, I think you could you could bring her almost anywhere. Um, with, with any hero composition, even if without Janai. I believe that she can be she can be very good. Um, again. Um, I would encourage you, if you have a Jinai, to accompany Jinai with her to maximize her out. So for my final thoughts, she is actually a perfect disruptive hero. Very disruptive indeed. Um, Jinai is actually disruptive anyway, and you pair Shell with her. Those two are going to wreak havoc in the battlefield, I'm sure, because both of them are also fast units. Um and they will really um you know they will really frustrate the enemy especially on hits and especially on decrease attack anyway guys i hope you have summoned for shell already if not i wish you luck in your summons anyway guys for comments and suggestions please do write in the comment section please like this video and that concludes this video you all stay safe and i'll see you in the next video warden out